welcome everyone this is Vince so in this video I'm gonna show you how to let's say uh, do multiple batch renders in um, Adobe Premiere CS6 so first of all we need to load up um, well I'm just gonna load one file because that's all I need really right so load up some files we'll go into my halo stash here so this is a Halo game uh, that I recorded, all 29 videos of them. So let's uh, let's just pick this one here. Load that up. I don't think this supports it. No, I rendered this already. So anyways, so all you have to do is just drag it to the timeline. Okay. Uh, so you might get this. You just match. You just said change it to match the video, of course. That's what you want. Uh, so this is it here, and uh, you have your timeline. But anyways, this is as much as I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna go. So you're done editing your 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 uh, video. You've had your audio. Blah blah blah. There. Okay. So you're done. So you go to file and then you go to uh, export media and this is going to be up to you which format you pick here. I normally pick the H.264 or H.264 uh, and then I have my own custom, my own custom one that I have here. I believe hopefully I still have it if not whatever uh, all you all you have to do is like you pick which format is 1080p whatever right okay so you can hit right here and you can pick where it's gonna go and the name and then you hit save okay after that then instead of hitting render and you want to make sure you hit that uh, I just do it that's the way it is uh, so you can mess around with your bit rate and everything as you can see it's like 32 so the files gonna be huge so if you wanna I would say go for a good 13 13 uh, megabits per second that should be fine um, and then that'll cut the file size down pretty low so if you're worried about space I know you are you know who you are uh, okay, so we'll hit Q. So instead of hitting export, you hit Q. What that'll do is, if you have it, because if you have Adobe Premiere, it'll come with this. Uh, then it'll go to uh, Adobe Media Encoder. And as you, as you can see, you had a bunch of failed ones because the format that the capture card recorded in Adobe didn't work with. So what I'm going to do here, my, I'm just going to delete all of these. Well, I'll delete up to there. So remove. Uh, remove. There we go. So they're all removed. So you should have whatever videos you, you've you done on here. Okay. All right. So all you have to do now is hit that button. That's it. Just hit it. And that's it. Then it goes through its little thing. Then it's gonna tell you the time, how long it's gonna take to render. Blah blah blah. On that. Come on, show me a time. I don't think it's gonna show me a time. But this, this is how you do it. In the end, there you can. If you have twenty videos, you can load up twenty videos, um, and hit render and go to bed. Uh, in the end there it took me to render all of the halo videos all of them 29 of them it took me 15 hours to do it but that's 29 videos at uh, 1080p and all of that stuff there um, so as you can see this is the render time plus I'm using uh, I'm using uh, fraps to record this too so it's using up space right um, and this video is about 15 minutes long, and it's going to do it in about an hour, less than an hour uh, in the end there. So that's that A, 
what what process what I have here the AMD FX um, 8150 just eating through that video just eating through that video like it's nothing uh, in the end there 38 minutes to render a 15 minute video roughly okay so that's how you do it simple easy uh, and that is all catch you guys later peace this video is part of the way movement a career path in video sponsored by tgn to learn more visit tgn.tv